In this episode, we bring the features of the Nissan LEAF into focus. Now, the first incredible thing we noticed with the Nissan LEAF is how quiet the engine is. There's no key, it's a push button start, and once you do fire it up, there is absolutely no discernible sound coming from the engine. It is quiet. This vehicle is on right now, we can't hear a thing. That's just a hint of the efficiency you're getting with this all electric vehicle. The vehicle is not only quiet to drive, it is incredibly smooth. Its drivetrain is completely electric, meaning no shifting, no transmission, no tailpipe, and no emissions. Also gone from the conventional car is the fuel gauge. With the LEAF, you are seeing in real time how many kilometers you have left to go in your lithium ion batteries. Woodstock Hydro Engineering Manager Jay Heeman says it changes the way you view driving and in turn, the car changes the way you drive. You know, in a combustion engine, you can hit the throttle and you can brake hard and the consequence is that you have to fill up your, your gas tank a little bit sooner. With this car, if you're easy on the throttle taking off, you use less energy, you drive your battery storage down uh, at a slower rate. If you let off the gas and you're coasting, now that kinetic energy is being uh, transferred into electrical energy and it's actually storing the batteries, uh, storing charge to the batteries while you're coasting. Same thing when you're braking, the regenerative braking kicks in and it starts charging those batteries. So you start to think more about how your, uh, your habits uh, and driving inclinations may affect your own efficiency of, of driving. Your result for October was a gold ranking. And the car rewards you for being an efficient driver. It's connected to wireless internet and is constantly measuring your driving. It then feeds you back information, like for instance, how many trees you've saved in a day, equivalent to the emissions you're not spewing into the atmosphere. Now the other aspect of this car that helps you become more engaged is it's, com it's communicating constantly through the internet with Nissan's head office and uh, you have to be a, an active willing participant but it uploads your driving statistics on a, on a regular basis and it, it rates your driving habits globally to every Nissan LEAF driver in the world and it's constantly telling you how you're doing whether you're a gold or a platinum or an average driver what your ranking is globally. Right here in your center console is your shifter. It's an over and up to put it into reverse and over and down into drive and if you want a little more mileage out of your commute double shift into drive. It puts the car into an eco boost, has a little less pep, a little more lag, but it's going to get you some more miles in the end. But like with any new technology, there are drawbacks. One of the possible pitfalls we noted is range anxiety. When your batteries run dry, there's no backup switch to a gas engine like the Chevy Volt. So it's really not an ideal vehicle to take on any long road trip at this point in time, with charging stations still scarce and its maximum range at 160 kilometers. That's the kind of range anxiety that can be exemplified in the elements. I took it out one day on the 401. I had about 140 kilometer range on it. I had to use the, uh, the climate control system because it was raining and it was foggy. And I turned around uh, and ended up doing no more than 68 kilometers and uh, so you really have to be prepared if you're going to go outside of town with a vehicle like this. Now aside from just gauging how much electricity this vehicle will use, Woodstock Hydro wants to do an apples to apples cost comparison between the electric engine and a gas engine car and then share that information with the public. They'll also have this vehicle for you to check out at several community events in the months ahead. I'm Adam Nip for Sunnyside Up.